This city never sleeps. She's as restless as I am. Just when you think you're safe to get some shut-eye, someone throws open the blinds. Hmm. When did someone slip this in? Or better yet, who? Looks like I've got another mystery to unravel. And I ain't got nothing to do tonight since my wife left me a few days ago. And she's visiting family in Florida. Just this morning, the paper mentioned how popular American movies are. Not only are they popular around the world, practically all of the movies shown here are made here. Aha, uh -huh. ticket prices are cheap compared to many other types of leisure. That makes it accessible to every class of citizen. But can movies influence our daily lives? Or is it all just entertainment? To get to the bottom of this, I need to watch the first big Hollywood hit, The Birth of a Nation. I got a private copy of the flick from the black market, which is a nice little store down the street. I can see why this was the cat's meow when it came out. The filmmaking is highly innovative, introducing techniques we still use today, such as close-ups, cross-cutting, and dissolves. There's only one major problem. It's full-blown racist. It portrayed KKK members as heroes. The group had practically been non-existent for decades, but the popularity of this film started a revival and was used as their recruiting tool. No wonder civil rights advocates protested the film and tried to get it banned. It was abundantly clear that film is a medium powerful enough to change the real world. Should that kind of power have limits? Should certain films be censored if they can be harmful? Will I ever replace the burned out light bulbs in this absurdly dark room? <sighs> it seems as if answers only lead to more mysteries in this perplexing world of ours. Oh man. Films in the 1910s and 20s have become increasingly risque and a series of off-screen scandals meant Hollywood was targeted by boycotts from religious and political groups. Hey, wise guy, what happened to my scene? It goes against the production code, so it had to be cut. You mean the government is out there telling us what we can and can't show? Religious groups were pushing for the government to get involved, so studios agreed to self-regulate so that wouldn't happen. So I can't say No. What about with a whole <laughs> Absolutely not. Then what's the point of living? Ring me in 30 years when this is over. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Connect with me, Gabe McCauley, and Reconnecting Roots by visiting reconnectingroots.com, where you'll discover music, blogs, behind the scenes, our podcast, and more. Join our email list and never miss a beat.